I remember back in 2017 when I was first researching isometrics and the lifters that really specialize in that training modality. And then I came across this photo and I had to do a double take because one, obviously I didn't know exactly how much weight those were on each side of him, but didn't matter. It looked freaking insane nonetheless. So let's talk about Paul Anderson and his history with weightlifting and isometrics. If you know anything about iconic weightlifters, then you'll know that Paul Anderson is one of the most iconic weightlifters of all time. Paul was a pioneer in the sport of weightlifting, and his contributions to the world of strength training have left an indelible mark on the sport. Paul Anderson was born in Tokoa, Georgia in 1932. He grew up in a small town. As a child, he always was interested in strength and fitness. He was a standout athlete in high school, excelling in multiple sports, but he was especially drawn to weightlifting. In 1951, Paul set his sights on the Olympic Games and he began training rigorously in the sport of weightlifting. He quickly made a name for himself as one of the strongest lifters in the country and he soon became known as the Georgia Strongman. In 1956, Paul Anderson competed in the Olympic Games in Melbourne, Australia. He won the gold medal in the heavyweight division, setting a new world record in the clean and jerk. From that moment on, Paul was a legend in the sport of weightlifting. One of the things that set Paul Anderson apart from other weightlifters was his use of isometric exercises. Isometric exercises, as we know on the channel, are exercises that involve holding a position rather than moving through a range of motion. Paul believed that isometrics were an important part of his training regimen, and he credited them with helping him to become one of the strongest men in the world. Paul's training philosophy was simple. Lift heavy weights, eat a lot of food, and rest. Not too different from our modern counterparts. He believed that strength came from lifting heavy weights, which makes sense. And if you follow our video on the force velocity curve, if you train at the higher end of the curve, your body will be more acclimated towards strength. And Paul would often perform feats of strength that were unheard of at the time. Check this one out, for example. In one famous demonstration of his strength, Paul lifted a car off the ground with his bare hands. He also performed a back lift of over 6,000 pounds a feat that has never since been duplicated. In addition to his use of isometric exercises, Paul was also known for his impressive lifting technique. He had a unique style that involved using his body as a lever, and he was able to lift more weight than anyone else in the world. Over the course of his career, Paul set numerous world records in weightlifting. He was the first man to lift over 400 pounds in the clean and jerk, and he held the world record in the squat for over a decade. Another of Paul Anderson's most famous feats of strength was his lift of the Apollon's axle, a thick handled barbell that weighs 366 pounds. And here it is. I always wondered what this was. This lift was considered impossible by many at the time. But Paul was able to lift it with ease, mind you, setting a new world record in the process. Paul was also known for his controversial use of a weightlifting belt that was wider and thicker than the belts used by other lifters. Some critics accuse him of using the belt to cheat, but Paul maintained that it was a necessary part of his training regimen. And if you look at modern lifters today, when we start going over X amount of weight, it's just better to be safe than sorry, and it looks like he had a firm grasp on that mindset back then. However, despite his success as a weightlifter, Paul faced numerous challenges throughout his career. He suffered from chronic back pain and had to undergo multiple surgeries. He also struggled with his weight, and at one point he weighed over 400 pounds. However, he never let these setbacks hold him back, and he continued to train and compete at the highest level. Sadly, Paul Anderson passed away in 1994 at the age of 61. His legacy as a weightlifter and strength athlete is still celebrated today, and he has been honored with numerous awards and accolades. He will always be remembered as one of the most iconic figures in the history of weightlifting. Paul's legacy as a weightlifter and strength athlete truly is remarkable. He was a true pioneer in the sport of weightlifting, and his use of isometrics and his unique lifting style have inspired generations of lifters. 
Today, weightlifting is more popular than ever, and Paul Anderson's influence can still be felt in the sport. He will always be remembered as one of the greatest strength athletes of all time. As you can see, his training methods and technique used by lifters around the world to date. Whether you're a seasoned weightlifter or just starting out, Paul's story is a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and a true love of strength.